All right, what's going on guys? So today we're taking a look at the Kotobukiya MSG. It's a modeling support goods weapon set here at number 24, the handgun. So as you can see, you can make a, a few different handguns. Now I believe you should be able to make like all of these, not like you have to choose one particular style. I think it makes a set of all three. If not, uh, even maybe giving you two of each of those three style guns. But as you can see, you got like a revolver kind of gun, a just more kind of regular kind of modern looking pistol kind of gun and then this other sort of little MS, uh, SMG sort of looking uh, pistol there as well too. I don't know, again, I'm not, I'm certainly no weapons expert guy, so you always, y'all tend to correct me when I'm talking about different weaponry, so feel free to do that. Anyway, around here on the back, you can see the assembly guide for that, so it'd just be a few parts there for the revolver, and you do also have this like holster piece that you can use for that. Uh, you've got connection pieces for connecting these onto different kits and things like that. Again, basically meant for frame armors, but you can use these for a lot of different things. So these should be pretty cool. As you can see on the back here, this set retails for 600 yen is the retail price for that. So around five bucks is not too bad for this, for just a set of pistols. It's nice. They are nicely detailed and everything. So inside here, just got a couple of runners and it does appear to just be one set of the three. So like uh, just one weapon each, no doubles or anything like that, unfortunately. So here's MW24, uh, and then this one also, the runner marking is gonna be MW24. They're not uh, like an A and B runner or anything like that, they're just numbered. Here's starting from number one, and then going to, let's see, number 18 in total. So basically 18 parts all in all for this set, all molded here in gray, obviously, but as you can see, there's a lot of nice detail on that. There will be some mold lines or some uh, seam lines on here, I'm sure, on some of these parts, but let me just go ahead and get these built up together and then we'll see how they look. All right, so it's gonna be a pretty straightforward set here. We'll just start off with the first of the three different pistol types we have with this one. You have this sort of like, uh, I guess it's supposed to look like a laser or flashlight or something on the bottom of that. I'm not sure what that's actually meant to be. That said, you can remove that. That's just molded onto there, That, uh, but you can, um, move this part back, which is a pretty cool kind of realistic feature. You can also completely remove that by moving it forward and then slipping it off like that, popping it back on, and then popping it back like that. And you can see there's actually like a hole in there where you could see you could, uh, the bullet casing would come out of, right? Like that. So that is pretty cool. And then you have the kind of holster piece for this that it just plugs into like that. And then you've got a hard point for plugging this onto your kit for wherever you might want to stick that. And you also have a connection piece for the opposite side if you wanted. So whether you wanted to plug this onto either the left or the right side, you could choose whichever holster piece you wanted. So that's kind of cool. It's nice to have a completely separate piece rather than like this connection piece that you have to swap from one side to the other. And there'd be just like an empty hole for the hard point there, for example, that you would have to either plug or fill or something like that if you didn't want to have that hole there. Just having two completely separate pieces does uh, make let you avoid that problem. Then as for our uh, revolver type one here, I kind of wish that it would have like a, like a little bit of a molded trigger detail and maybe a trigger guard or something like that in there. The handle looks a bit um, kind of weak compared to the rest of it, but this one also has kind of a working gimmick in that that opens up and this actually spins there like that. So that's a kind of cool feature. You also have your kind of holster piece for this one here as well. This one also is only on one side, but we do have uh, another one for the opposite side. So if you had two of this set and you wanted to have two of these, you keep one on the left and one on the right. It could be pretty cool for doing the whole cowboy thing. So that one as well, also very cool, just nice detail and everything. And then finally here we've got this one, which is also very cool in its design. This one has a little feature of this kind of ammo pack. I guess that's what this is meant to be, sort of this sort of thing that pops out the back here and then you slide that in like that. And then the holster piece for this one is just this little attachment piece plugged onto the front of here. So you just remove that and then this one, obviously you could plug it either the right way or the left way, whichever way you want to mount this to your kit for the connection piece just plugs right onto the front there. Again, really cool design, but uh, you know, seam line there as you might expect. And it's just all molded in gray as they all are, but still some pretty nice designs. Just gonna take a little bit of work to get them to really look their best, but that just plugs onto the front of there and then you can have it stored onto your kit. So it's really cool that they're all like three different styles. This one's sort of like a modern, realistic kind of style looking one. This one's sort of futuristic style looking one. And then you have your kind of revolver type there as well too. So nice mix of styles with this set. And while I'm usually not a big fan of pistol type weapons with my mecha kits, they just end up looking kind of a little bit wimpy in my opinion. You know, I prefer a, a big robot to have a big gun to match or, you know, some sort of uh, melee weapon or something like that as well too. Uh, that said, I mean, pistols certainly do have their place with certain kits and they can look very cool. Whether you wanted to use this for a 100 scale or a 144 scale kit, I would say definitely these are much more suited for a 100 scale kit. For 144 scale, they're just going to look 
ridiculously large uh, for their design. Just for having a, a pistol that's that large with the 144 skill kit is just going to look odd. Uh, but of course, any 100 skill kit, you should be able to hold it in the hand without any issue. Uh, and then any, uh, obviously, Frame Arms or Frame Arms Girl Megami device, these type kits as well, too. You're not going to have any issues using those. With Frame Arms Girl and Megami device kits, these are also going to be looking a little bit too large, I think. So you're probably going to be best off using these with uh, 100 scale mecha kits, so whether they be frame arms or Gundam kits. Frame arms, although they are also 100 scale kits, are usually a little bit smaller than 100 scale Gundam kits, uh, but I think anyway, somewhere around 100 scale is probably uh, the best bet for different mecha kits you're going to want to use these with. That said though, again, a really nice mix of variety with them and a pretty cheap set too if you wanted to get to two, if you wanted to dual wield any of these, you know, obviously double pistols is something pretty cool, everybody likes doing that, so getting two of this sets is uh, probably recommended if you wanted to do that. I'd say that'd be a good bet, you can have, you know, like one mounted on the hip and then one in the hand or something like that or, you know, have both in the hands, however you might want to do it. Uh, they're pretty cool weapons if you're into that whole sort of look. So there's some good options here for you guys if you want to check them out. Of course, we've got them at uh, USA Gundam Store, all the MSG option weapons and things like that that we have in stock you guys can check out on the website that is linked down in the video description below as well as my coupon code there for you guys to use on, on anything there on the site. If you find any other cool Kotobukiya stuff or Gundam stuff or whatever, you can use that there. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope this video was helpful for you guys if you're interested in this kind of thing. Uh, hopefully this is a good resource for you. But until next time, I hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.